I've been tasked with completing the Chambers of Zarek from scratch on a fresh account with the biggest catch being that I can't leave this area. So far I've completed every goal I've set in the last year including catching 250,000 bats, grinding 6 unique raid items, and mastering challenge mode with low stats. With all that I've accomplished so far, I can truly say that the grind we will be completing this episode tested my sanity more than any other. But it's time to say goodbye to the faithful Yu Longbow and achieve my second best range upgrade of the chunk. In the last episode, we pulled the Din's Bulwark, our last item needed from Mega Scale Raids. Then we continued our challenge mode grind and got rewarded with Dex Scroll number 3, and ended with 200 kill count, bringing us 10% of the way to our final goal. Now, let's continue where we left off. But first, we have finally reached the big episode 10 of Cox Chunk, and to celebrate, I finally added channel memberships. I appreciate all of the support from you guys, most importantly, just by watching the videos. These channel memberships are just a way to show some extra support and you do get some bonus perks as well, like a shout out in the videos and a badge in the comments. If you'd like to become a channel member, just click the join button below the video. Now back to the progress. I can't get arrows, but I get plenty of dark relics. If I don't get arrows, this has to be my last one though. This will be a range level. Woohoo! 59 range. <laughs> Oh, the HP level stalled me. Level 75 to 77 hit points just from raiding. Two drops. Got Sincessor Rope Top for Frogger Champ and Dex Scroll for Jungle Gap. Easy to them. Oh, dust. Who is this random guy fishing on PvP worlds? Get C Engineer to talk to me. Completed. Level 78 strength. And 95 combat. That's pretty sick. We're strong. There it is. Level 60 range. We can finally clip our best in slot vamp races. Red spiky vamp races. Plus 10 range accuracy, plus 2 melee strength. This is a good upgrade, guys. Really good upgrade. Yeah, I'll for sure be a PV. Maybe a speed chaser? Speed chaser, yeah. Very nice. That's another speed task knocked out. At this point, I decided it was time. We would slow down on the raids, and we would try and knock out this fletching grind. Level 71 fletching. And I even saved a lamp. We get an extra 10 XP. God, this takes forever. Every level is a very long grind, but we're making progress. Level 72 fletching. Getting closer. Level 84 mining. Going by quick. So I was participating in a bingo event for my clan and we need a twisted kit from Chambers. This is our first raid and we get this. I chat. White light from me. And a twisted kit. <laughs> the team, there we go. Here's level 73 fletching. That is halfway to level 80. You can finally make the magic short bow. And that's our next big goal. E5 will get in. Big number. 
Arrows, please. Oh, we did get arrows. Yay. It's been a while since we got arrows. That's at least a couple CMs worth of arrows right there. We take that. I'm more happy about that than most things, to be honest. <laughs> I thought I was there! <laughs> it's the first time I died in Nolan for a long time, holy. Ah. I saw. <laughs> oh, unlucky. Oh! We got rune arrows though! Woo! Almost a thousand. If I didn't die, it would be more! No! No. Oh. <laughs> Bro, I'm a leech. No way. Good job, team. <laughs> you entangle them. <laughs> You just gotta time the ZGS right so that he's like being unentangled by then. <laughs> oh, oh! <laughs> nice, the entangle clutch. We are level 74 fletching. Oh god, the IQPW is gonna be in the video now. We just got 74 fletching recently. And after this inventory of longbows, we are at 100,000. And this is only the beginning. We just passed 30 million total XP. That's actually kind of interesting. Whoa. What did I just stop in on? Let's see, can I get arrows? No. Oh. No arrows. Unlucky. Two items though. What do we get? Just one twisted kit. Ah, oh, man. That's kind of weak, not gonna lie. Huh. A Kodai. <laughs> Something. Is a Dr. Jekyll, and we have a torso on us, and another salmon pot. Love to see those. fletching oh man you can now make magic short bows and waiting for this for a while land chat going off as well thank you guys for being here let me make a magic short bow the first time at the bowstring 
Oof. Woo. 47 range accuracy. And now with the magic short bow, 69 range accuracy. But the biggest thing about them is that the magic short bow is two ticks faster, which is a massive DPS increase. One of the positive side effects of the fletching grind is that while hopping worlds so often, you cut a ton of wandering implings, which stock me up on runes, food, and other useful supplies. Now that we've completed the magic short bow, let's test it out at some raids. Alright, so the first test of the magic short bow was at the shaman room. While stay spotting these, I need to have the bow on long range, which is one tick slower than rapid, but funny enough, it's still faster than using a long bow. The special attack will come in handy for many rooms uh, that I can't use my claw specs, and I could already tell the first kill that the extra accuracy was already paying off. The next room that I feel the MSB helped out a lot in was the Voss room. It was a little difficult to get used to the three tick attack style, but I think I'll get that down better in the future. But I could tell I was hitting much better on this boss. And coming in with the arcane for Plumbus. I hear this guy loves arcanes. Make sure to say GZ on the arcane in the comments for him. Oh, that was about time. Quite late for me. Twisted kit for Dre. <laughs> nice. And a new PB for four men. Oh, I stalled myself. I could die here. <laughs> Oh my god, what are the odds of that, dude? Wait for me. Ooh! <laughs> Money! <laughs> With the team. Oh, that was a trio PB as well, holy. Well, I'm glad to have that grind over with. 2 million fletching XP at 4k XP an hour, cutting 187,000 dead trees. We finally got the magic short bow. In the next episode, we will be back to take on the trolls with the goal to bury enough bones, give us 74 prayer, and unlock the best ranged prayer in the game. I'll see you then.